you were on the road where you were part of Hall & Oates for most of your life. What was the biggest fight you guys had being together all that time? You had to have just a horrible fight at one point. No, we never did. We've had disagreements, uh, mostly like creative disagreements. And a lot of times we would just, we just turn and walk away. Hmm. I, I, we, we never really had a knockdown. You know, you hear all these stories about the police, you know, having fights mm-hmm. in the studio and, you know, fist fights and things. We never did that. Uh, maybe we should have. Uh, that might have been. <laughs> <laughs> Get it all out. Yeah. <laughs> um, but no, we never really did. Um, and we still do. You know, we still, we, we have disagreements and then we just, we go, we go our separate ways and kind of let, let off steam, do our creative crop projects. And then we come back together and, and it's as if time stopped. But when you have the disagreements, how do you work them out? You can't just come back to, a, I mean, in any relationship, mm-hmm. you can't come back and, and pretend that the issues between you are just poof, dissolved. Uh, yeah, you're right. The, some of those issues are never, never really resolved. But um, I think what we do is we just say, we, we came to the realization a while ago that the future, our future was in our history. The future of Hall Notes was in the, the 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 legacy of music that we've made. I don't think we need to make any more music or different music. People come to hear a certain thing, mm-hmm. um, and I you know I don't want to trivialize it, but you know it's like that old cliche joke. Uh, what's the last thing you want to hear at a classic rock concert? Mm-hmm. Here's a song from our new album. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, so, that, so that being said, um, if you want to hear a bunch of new songs, come see my show. You'll hear lots of them. Uh, <laughs> but isn't that a disservice to us as the fans since you guys wrote such massive hits all these years? Could have, have- We have a legacy of, of, of great music. And, you know, to be honest with you, we could do a show that sounded like a new show. We could play some of our deep tracks. And mm-hmm. some of them are, are, I think, really good musically. A lot of them. They're adventurous. They're musical. They're cool and different. Uh, it wouldn't be a Hall & Oates show. It'd be this other type of show. And, I, you know, I would love to do something like that. And the hardcore fans, I'm sure, would like it. But, the ge- you know, the general public, they want to hear the hits. And, I mean, look at, look at you know, all the classic uh, acts. Uh, look at the Eagles. I mean... I, I, yeah, and I don't mean to say anything weird by saying this, but Glenn Fry passes the way and the Eagles just keep on going. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. And it's, it's the songs. It's those songs. Those songs will transcend time, space, and, huh. and they'll, trans, they'll transcend the lives of the people who made them. Just like um, classical music. I mean, you know, people love Mozart and Beethoven. They haven't been around for a while, but right. the songs haven't gone away. 